who derive the expression of Compton shift. For this, let us consider a photon collide with a atom like this and the energy of the photon is e equal to h nu and after collision a scattered photon with energy h nu prime came out with a scattered electron with the velocity v came out okay and this angle is phi and this angle is taken as theta this is the compton effect now we derive the compton shift due to this effect okay first of all we take the energy conver conservation that is the energy of the photon is h nu before collision plus sorry it will be the energy of this electron that is at rest that is m naught c square because the electron is at rest so the mass will be m naught that is rest mass and after collision the energy of photon h nu prime plus the energy of the electron after collision that will be m c square here m is the moving mass and m naught is the rest mass of the electron and the relation in between them is m equal to m naught by root over 1 minus beta square where beta is equal to v by c v is the velocity and c is the velocity of light and v is the velocity of the electron and this tongue equation is given as 1 now we take the momentum conservation case and first horizontally momentum conservation for this the horizontal momentum of this photon is h nu by c plus the electron is at rest before collision so the momentum is zero and after collision the momentum of the photon is h nu prime by c plus into cos phi plus the momentum of the electron after collision is mv cos theta now there is theta okay so h nu by c minus h nu prime by c cos theta equal to mv cos theta and now vertically momentum conservation it will give us that it has no component vertically before collision so it's zero and the electron has no also no component because it's at rest so it's zero and after collision it has vertical component as h nu dash by c sine phi sorry it will be phi because the angle of the scattered photon with horizontal is phi because that is phi so it will also be phi because this angle is phi okay now after collision the electron have the vertical momentum with mv sin theta that is mv sin theta and the negative sign because the the vertical component is to this direction that is opposite to the photons direction with vertical so it will be like this now we take this as equation 2 and this equation 3 now doing this operation 2 square plus 3 square we get squaring this 2 equation we get h nu by c minus h nu prime by c cos phi whole square plus h nu prime by c sin phi whole square that's equal to this term that is mv cos theta would be m square v square cos square theta 
plus this term whole square that is m square v square sin square theta now expanding this we get h square new square by c square plus h square new prime square by c square cos square phi minus 2 h square new new prime by c square cos phi plus h square new prime square by c square sin square phi that is this term and that is equal to we, if we take m square v square common from this we get cos square theta plus sin square theta and this value is 1 so it will be 1 now from this this will h square new square by c square plus h from this and this we take common h square new prime square by c square so it will be cos square phi plus sin square phi and the value is 1 minus this term that is 2h square new new prime by c square cos phi that is equal to m square v square or now we multiply c square on both sides so it will be like this after multiply, uh, multiplying c square on both sides we get like this and take this as equation number 4 now from equation number 1 we get that from this h nu plus m naught c square minus h nu prime that's equal to mc square now we square on both sides of this equation and after doing this we get like sorry that will be okay now we expand this it will be h square new square plus m naught square c to the power 4 plus h square new prime square plus 2 h m naught new c square minus 2 h m naught new prime c square minus 2 h square new new prime after expanding this square we get this this is equal to m no m square c to the power 4 sorry it will be m no m normal m so that is this and we know the relation of m and m naught from this that is the mo moving mass is equal to rest mass by root over 1 minus beta square so it will be m square by 1 minus beta square into c to the power 4 ok and name this as equation number 5 now we do a operation that we subtract equation 5 minus 4 so 5 minus 4 we doing this we get this term and this term will be cancelled out this term this term cancelled out after 5 minus 4 operation and the remaining this term that is m naught square c to the power 4 plus from this and this term we take 2 h m naught c square common so it will be new minus new prime minus this term that is 2 h square new new prime plus this term that will be 2 h square new new prime cos phi that's equal to m naught square by 1 minus beta square c to the power 4 minus this term that is m square v square c square ok thus <coughs> m naught square this term plus 2 h m naught c square new minus new prime 
we take common 2h nu nu prime from this so it will be 1 minus cos phi that's equal to m naught square by 1 minus beta square c to the power 4 minus m square now we know that beta is equal to v by c from this relation so v is equal to beta c and now we can put this relation there so it will be beta square c square into this c square ok now this equal to m naught square by 1 minus beta square c to the power 4 minus m square beta square c to the power 4 and that's equal to m naught square <coughs> by 1 minus beta square c to the power 4 for this moving mass that is equal to m naught by 1 minus beta square into beta square c to the power 4 ok and that is equal to m naught square by 1 minus beta square we take common this term that is c sorry c to the 4 can be taken common so that is common so that will be 1 minus beta square after taking common this we get this and this term and this term cancelled out so it will be m naught square c to the 4 thus we get this is equal to this so m naught square c to the power 4 plus 2 h m naught c square nu minus nu prime minus 2 h square nu nu prime and this can be written as 2 sin square 5 by 2 and that is equal to m naught square c to the power 4 and this term and this term cancelled out so the remaining 2 h m naught c square nu nu minus nu prime that's equal to 2h square nu nu prime into 2 sin square 5 by 2 now these two and these two cancelled out dh and this one is cancelled out so m naught c square and we divide nu nu prime on both sides so it will be 1 minus nu prime by 1 minus nu that's equal to 2 sin square h sin square 5 by 2 and this is equal to m naught c and we multiply on c and there so it will be c by nu prime and c by nu that is equal to 2h sin square 5 by 2 into m naught c and this term can be written as lambda prime because c by nu is equal to lambda so that is lambda so it is equal to 2h sin square 5 by 2 so from this m naught c and this is the wavelength shift so d lambda to sin square 5 by 2 thus we get d lambda that is the compton shift so thus d lambda is equal to 2 h by m naught c sin square 5 by 2 this h by m naught c can be taken as lambda c that is lambda c into sin square 5 by 2 this lambda c that is h by m naught c is called the universal constant of Compton shift or Compton wavelength that is universal constant of Compton wavelength that is lambda c equal to h by m naught c thus we get the expression of Compton shift that is 2 lambda c sin square 5 by 2